This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. One of the things that conservative media has gotten real, real good at over the course of the last decade or so is culture war nonsense. We saw we saw the the war on Christmas, bro, oh my God, the terrible carnage of the war on Christmas fought year after year after year on the screen on Fox News. There's no war on Christmas. They're dragging it up again because of supply chain issues. They want to say there's a war on Christmas as though it's something that's that's directed squarely at the like 78% of Americans who are who are Christians who celebrate Christmas, probably more more people. <clears throat> people who are not uh, who don't self-identify as Christians also celebrate Christmas. There's no war. Uh, the, of late, though, Donald Trump has talked about uh, monuments being removed, and there's been talk of of uh, removing presidential uh, statues of presidents who are former slave owners. I, I don't have a problem with this. I think uh, slave ownership in 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 modern times, I consider colonial era, era of the United States a modern time. Uh, pernicious. Sinister, disgusting, immoral, heinous, sinful. A lot of people will push back and they'll say, well, it was just the time. But it wasn't. Because you had all kinds of contemporaries of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson who believed it to be sin, who believed it to be evil. Sound like a like a like a bond character evil john adams samuel adams samuel adams in like 1757 or 68 or back in back before the 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 the, the De- declaration of independence samuel adams was given a little enslaved girl as a gift back then and immediately set her free because it's pernicious to own other human beings. Even contemporarily at the time, there were those who believed it to be so. So it wasn't like, oh, just slavery was the thing. That was the deal. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. I want to talk about Greg Kelly, the daddy's boy. I don't know what it is about conservatives that just love giving their kids jobs when they're unqualified. Greg Kelly is an anchor on Newsmax, uh, a statue is being removed or has been removed in New York City somewhere of of Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Wrote our Declaration of Independence? Yes. Owned hundreds of slaves? Yes. Raped them? Impregnated them? Yes. Yes, he did. And for those of you before, you, you say, oh, it wasn't rape, he loved her, they loved each other. If she's a slave, she cannot give consent, therefore, any sexual relations with her is rape. Fact. Inarguable fact. Was he a complicated character? To say the least. Anyway, here's Greg Kelly. Again, I'm getting off the rails here. Here's Greg Kelly talking about this and uh, bringing it to a whole new level that this is cancel culture and that next step, they're going to cancel God. Comparing Thomas Jefferson, the the slave raping uh, founding father, to, to, to God. Watch this. So that's Thomas Jefferson, of course, Thomas Jefferson, third president of our country, right? Third president. And also he wrote the Declaration of Independence. OK, he's a great guy. But but yeah, he was a man of his times and he owned slaves. So a statue, another one here in New York City uh, that's been around for about 100 years at least. They're going to take it down. The new panel will also consider the demand from some council members to remove the City Hall statue of Thomas Jefferson because he owns slaves. As a slave owner, many are objecting to him being held up as an American icon in City Hall chambers. Here's the thing. Uh, I think this is just a warm up. This is just a warm up going after our founding fathers. Then they're going to go after the father of the universe, right? God, the Bible. 
that's next. I fear that is next. You know, throughout the Bible, um, there are plenty of good people in that Bible who own slaves. It's actually in the Bible. And uh, I think they may try to cancel the entire book. Keep your eye on this. Keep your eye on this, everybody. This wacky story, they're going to be canceling God. Ugh. He could barely get through it with a straight face. There's no way he believes this nonsense. To compare the removal of a statue in a local mun municipality of Thomas Jefferson to canceling, first of all, cancel culture, not a thing. No one's canceled. For what, with all the hubbub about, about uh, Dave Chappelle being canceled, he's not canceled. He's a multimillionaire with, with, with special after special after special. These people, they want to make something out of nothing. And is it... Is it a good thing that Thomas Jefferson's statue was removed? I think so. I'm okay with it. If you're not, that's fine. Reasonable people can disagree. But it doesn't mean that the next target is the Bible. That's not what it means. The ancient Bronze Age text. If you want to talk about the differences in how societies viewed things, during biblical times, it was the norm. Slavery was the norm. Was it good? No. Was it moral? No. Was it justified by the Bible? Yes. Were there rules set in the Bible for how to treat your slaves? How hard to beat your slaves? Yes. Yes. But it wasn't that way during colonial times, during the day of Thomas Jefferson. In fact, much of the consternation surrounding the founding of our country and the drafting of our Constitution was around the issue of slavery. In letters, if you read, I'm not going to get into a history lesson, but women's rights were on the minds of women of the day, Abigail Adams, and slavery, just not in the South, where they were making a buck off of their off of their, their enslaved thousands, millions of enslaved people. Greg Kelly, you are a dum dumb and you do a disservice to our country. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. I know this is a contentious topic, uh, but I'd love to know what you think. Maybe get some of your voicemails on the air. You can call, leave me a brief one, voicemail that is, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, these are topics I don't uh, avoid. This video may be demonetized because of the, the R word in talking about slavery. But uh, in the interest of what's, what's best for the information, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, on that note, if I bring you value, if these conversations, these tough sometimes conversations bring you some value, please consider supporting my work. You can do so by clicking the join button below the video here, uh, becoming a channel member, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways to support what I do. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.